Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And I believe I did an unboxing and a quick review on the, let me get close to it. Uh, you probably can't see it from this angle, but it is the Cisco Small Business SG226 port uh, switch. Uh, actually the Smart Gigabit Smart switch. And uh, got it up and running. It's not actually up and running, but it's time for me to configure it. Uh, there is a web interface for you guys to get into it. I do apologize for the video quality, but I'm going to show you guys how to get into it. Now, the first thing that you want to do is, uh, let me just take the camera. Uh, you want to take a Ethernet port, not a port, a cable, connect it to any of the ports, and then the other end, if I follow it, should go behind the laptop okay so one end goes to the laptop and the other end goes to any port within the switch doesn't really matter okay guys then next thing that you guys want to do is you want to open up your network uh, sharing center you want to change their adapter settings and you want to right click into your local area network connection and go to properties and you want this laptop to be in the same subnet as the switch. By default, the IP address of this switch is 192.168.1254. Okay, so you need to have it in the range. So I'm going to have it next close to each other. So I'm going to 192.168.1254. Okay, the switch is 254. And the laptop is going to be 253. And I'm going to hit tab. The subnet is going to be 255.255.255.0. Default gateway you don't need. You don't need a DNS. So I'm going to press OK. Press OK. And I'm going to close this. Okay. Now, the next thing that you want to do, you got to open up either Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Chrome, uh, whichever one that you guys prefer. And on the address bar, you want to type in HTTP colon forward slash 192.168.1.254 okay and then once that loads up you're gonna get into let's go close to it awesome so the, you're gonna get into the web GUI now by default it's uh, Cisco is the user name and the password is Cisco and we are going to log in now you're able to do a HTTPS and right now it's processing the data so for me to log in and I gotta give the old password which is Cisco and then I'm gonna provide it a new password now this is the password that you guys are gonna be using every time and I'm gonna apply and the passwords changed uh, username is still Cisco but whatever password you guys provided and uh, that's gonna be your new password and right now it's clicking for save I don't know why that's up there but that that's how you get into the web GUI like right now I'm gonna do the initial setup change management ap applications and services I'm gonna change the device IP address to something that's more manageable uh, because once you have it hooked up to your uh, your LAN you want to access the, the switch by using a LAN IP address you don't want to use the, the default one uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, review of how to get into the web GUI for the small business SG 200 26 port uh, smart switch and I catch you guys